to a 20-year-old man charged with rape and kidnapping. Investigators believe Cody Jackson was holding underage girls against their will, forcing them into what amounts to sexual slavery. WLWT News finds Brian Hamrick is leading the way for us tonight, digging into Jackson's extensive past. Brian. Yeah, Cherie. Well, the victim says in this case, the Norwood case, that she was forced to follow a bizarre set of rules, including sex, and even forced to bathe the man who was keeping her captive. But what makes all this even more strange is what happened before this case. It's a Norwood apartment building, but a teenage girl says it was also her prison, run by 20 year old Cody Jackson. I was just stunned, real stunned about it. Terry Watkins lives just upstairs and was friends with Jackson. I looked at him like he was cool. He seemed cool to me. Apartment B is vacant now, but investigators say the teenage girl was being held here by Jackson along with the mother of one of his children. The girl was forced to follow strict rules, including sex at any time. The victim became pregnant. Eventually, both females escaped and contacted police. But what makes all of this even more disconcerting is deja vu. We got called to uh, the area of Pfeiffer and Kenwood Road, uh, middle of the night, about 2 o'clock in the morning, for two girls that had escaped from Cody Jackson. Blue Ash Police Lieutenant Steve Schuler says Jackson was arrested in a case almost identical last year. Two women escaped from him at this clarion, saying they'd been held against their will. Traveling across the country, you know, he would uh, take them to the to the motel or hotels, and uh, would basically keep them as a uh, for his own, you know, sexual benefits. Jackson was arrested in that case, which brings us back to this Norwood apartment, where even on bond with electronic monitoring, police say he still used social media to attract the latest victim. And if two separate but similar cases seem like a lot. Wait until you hear this. He's been in trouble here and there around the country. I think he has cases uh, pending in right now in Tennessee, Florida, and Wisconsin, all related to behavior similar to this. Jackson took off but was arrested in Utah. Too late for some victims and for those who thought he was a friend. I'm just glad he's, he's, he's in jail now. He's where he needs to be. Now, it's a story with a lot of twists, but basically this is it. He was arrested, actually pled guilty to that case in Blue Ash at the motel. Uh, the Norwood case, now he's arrested for that, being extradited back here for that case. And there are at least three other cases in three separate states. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT. News 5. So you may be wondering, Jackson was actually able to get away because after he pleaded guilty to one charge in the Blue Ash case, he was taken off of his home electronic monitoring system and was awaiting sentencing.